Hey, hey, and welcome to level 22 of Goldeneye 007. This is Caverns. So, we start in the elevator that we ended the previous level in, and as we open the door here, Trevelyan's waiting with a welcoming party. So, we're playing this on double O agent difficulty, which means that all the enemies here are going to be pretty difficult to deal with. The thing with this level is there's a lot of enemies. We're looking out for these blue cat ones in particular because they have body armor, whereas the ones without the hats don't. As we make our way through here as well, you'll notice that we are very much buried in the caverns here. So we're going to be seeing a lot of this rock texture here, which is pretty nice. This level has a lot of unused spaces, like around the side here. You can see there's water down below us, but we'll never get the chance to actually go to that location. You don't really interact with the areas off the beaten path. So as we come down the stairs here, we just need to destroy these computers here. Thank you. That actually does form part of our objective here. Do be careful when blowing up these boxes. It is recommended, in my opinion, to actually blow up boxes as you're making your way through this level because it does contain quite a lot of ammo, which will be very useful to you. Especially on double O agent difficulty, where ammo can become a bit scarce otherwise. So as we make our way through here, we want to blow up this computer here. Luckily that didn't blow up, it just kind of disappeared. Excellent. So as we make our way through this door here, we enter the real centerpiece of this level. I love this room. This room has such verticality and it really just kind of conveys the sense of scale on show in this level. Interestingly, you can't come here in multiplayer. If you ever play the multiplayer of Goldeneye, this first half section of the level is not made available to the player, which is a bit of a shame because imagine doing some multiplayer running up and down this area. But yes, you can see it's just a large area. We'll take out the enemies here at the door. Now, as soon as we start shooting here, it will attract the attention of the guards inside. Take care of you. You can see a whole bunch of boxes here. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not using the dual wielding weapons. Simply put, it's a waste of ammo. If you want to use it to get rid of an enemy quickly, then go for it. But really, in most use cases, I find it just chews through ammo a bit too quickly for my liking. There's a bit more ammo at the door, though, if you really want it. There's a bunch of guards who will rush you at the top of the stairs here. There's also one at the bottom of the stairs who, when he sees you, will start shooting at you. You can see him down there shooting at me. Well, I like to go down here. This is a sort of area out of the way. You're never forced to come in here, but you can blow up these boxes and you get a ton of ammo for doing so. So it, I do recommend, even if you're going for the cheat, popping your head in here because it will save you a lot of aggro in the back end of the level. Because that's a lot of ammo. You can see that you can actually shoot the guards on both levels here, which is pretty fun. I'm coming down here to clear out the bottom pathway here. Gonna blow those guards up. I like doing that because I imagine they just stood there having a quiet day and then they just get blown up from beneath. They have no idea what's happening. But be careful as you make your way towards this door. There is a guard in front who's got some body armor. There's three guards around this corner as well. You want to make sure you take them out because they can randomly decide to run after you if you're not careful. What's interesting is that 
we do need to go into this room through the door here but you can actually shoot through the window here if you want to sort of wake up some of the guards early i do this because it's it makes life just a tiny bit easier because in a second we're gonna have one of the most frustrating parts of goldeneye here so we basically have to get rid of the guards in this section here without blowing up the barrels behind them it's not as easy as you imagine you've got to be so 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 careful because there's also scientists in there but if you blow up the enemies in there and the barrels then you can't use the radio to contact mr wade i'm willing to take these shots because i i do not want to risk accidentally shooting a barrel you can see the guard there he'll throw grenades if you're not careful and that's not good at all So you can see there's one final guard here. Just being careful there. So there is a scientist here. I'm gonna activate the radio. Got your bearings, Jimbo. Me and the boys are on our way. So what's funny is that these scientists, they're gonna run around that door there, but they're not actually gonna be able to go through until we walk away from them. So if we leave the room here, they will actually open that door. The game's kind of designed so that they can't open the locked doors without you not being present. It's to stop you sort of using them as a way to get through. And I can sh I can tell you this is gonna happen because as we go back to sort of go to the other side of where they're gonna come out of, you'll see them come through this door in a second. And right on cue, there's the scientist. So it does show that the AI in this game has the ability to access like restricted areas but the game won't allow it to happen while you are kind of in the vicinity. So it doesn't want you to cheese the game. I just sort of shot my gun into there because I want all these guards to come running up to the top here. It's easier to deal with all these guards up here than it is to sort of run around the room. Be careful of that turret there. Sometimes there's a guard under there who'll shoot you with his assault rifle. There's two guards here, just be careful for them. There's also some guards down here. That we're just going to get rid of. Make sure you pick up the key cards as well. This level has several guards who have key cards. And if you don't pick them all up, you can find yourself a bit flummoxed. Because you need the key cards to get into these final doors here. So, a little bit of advice, by the way. When you're approaching this final door... Be very, very quick about what you're doing here. Because what happens is once Trevalian goes towards the exit, once he sort of leaves this next corridor, a bunch of elite level guards will start spawning into the level. And when I say elite level guards, they have dual wielding assault rifles, they have the automatic shotgun, and they have a ridiculous amount of health. You do not want to be standing around when they start spawning in. That's why I'm shutting the doors behind me there. There's also two turrets in here that you've got to be really mindful of. So once you've kind of done, once he sort of leaves that spot there, that's when the elite guards will start spawning in behind you. They're basically there to push you forward, so you don't want to be in this room too long, otherwise you will have to deal with them. But as you can see, we have completed this level, and Bond casually puts away his weapon, which we will not see in the next level, unfortunately. Caverns is an interesting level because it's very clear that at some point there was going to be something a lot bigger going on in this level I feel. Because the fact that Trevalian's like holding a gun and the fact that you don't really see him except for the start and the end of the level. I kind of get the feeling that at points you were supposed to maybe face off against him in the caverns. And then they kind of scale that back because you don't really see him otherwise. Really he just kind of blitzes through the level and that's kind of it really. So, I guess the main thing to say about this level is that it's very nice to look at. It's a very interesting level to explore. It's not really that wide a level though, so as nice as some of the visuals are, and as big as some of the rooms are, ultimately it doesn't really do much with that space, and so it ends up feeling a lot bigger than it actually is. It's really just a bunch of narrow pathways, except for that one point where you can sort of go in two directions which is pretty fun. It's a solid level in my opinion. It's not super great though, and I personally wouldn't put it in my like top five Goldeneye levels, at least not thinking off the top of my head right now. 
And what's interesting as well, as you'll have noticed, I've actually done the cheat time as well. So this one was actually on double O agent difficulty. And we actually skimmed it by under by just under a minute as well. So I'm actually really happy with that. So there's no need for me to do another run of this one because you've just seen how to do it. As long as you take your time, as long as you don't rush, and as long as you don't shoot wildly into where that radio is with all the explosives, you'll be fine. But yeah, let me know what you think of Cavern. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's a good level? Do you think it acts as a good penultimate level to the Gold Knight story section of the game? Let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching.